What's up everybody, it's your boy Dude Plays here and we're back with episode 2 of More Fight. So we're picking up right where we left off with the next mission. So we need to head to another solar system. So I'm going to open up my star map. These are all of the solar systems. There's, it seems endless really. Look, look at that. I, I'm, I honestly, I don't even know if it is. I think it is. There's so many planets. I mean, so many solar systems. All right, so anyways, back to where we are, we're going. So I need to head to the, the, the Dabi system, but I don't have enough fuel, so I'm gonna head to the Bathu system, and then fuel up, and then head over there. You face through some debris while warping. Your hull takes some damage. Tragic. All right, so now I need to head to the station here and refuel. I need to sell some chunks because I took some scans so I need to sell those to get some money so I can refuel my ship so I'm selling everything except the heat resistance because I'm gonna need that later to upgrade stuff my suit specifically So the heat resistance ones, I'm not selling those. Refuel. Okay, there we go. Now we'll be on our way. And so now we can head over to this solar system. Because that's where um the mission is. As highlighted in by the green line. I love the, the warping animation. Okay, there we go. The... Where our planet that we're supposed to go to is in green, which is Jorlo. So, we're headed here now. I've actually played this mission multiple times, but I've had to re-record because the sound in the recording was just non-existent. Rogue repair bots approach your ship. They pull armor off your ship. Your ship takes damage. Really cool. Very nice. Those encounters are happening way too frequently, though. I love the little cinematic when you... When you're entering the atmosphere, this is beautiful. Also, I set the graphics to um the draw distance to the lowest. The graphics are at the bare minimum because I don't want it to lag while recording, so that's why. Yeah, and even then it's still slightly laggy, but it's it's bearable, it's bearable here, so. So, as you know, we should do our scans. And we got the beacon, which we can use to call our ship over to wherever we are. Now, I want to get this mission done as soon as possible because I don't want this video to be too long. So, I'm just, you know, taking scans of everything. You think that these are all the same tree, but it's not. Which isn't an issue because it's like it's more stuff for me to scan so I can sell it. Okay, so KitKat is saying I'm getting a strong signal. Okay, why why is the thing say Meow too though? His name is KitKat. I see another teleporter to your left. Roger that. Okay. After I get this scan, I'm heading over there. I'll kill that alien here for resources. Okay, there were no resources. How tragic. It didn't do the little glow there. Sometimes it glitches out, but it's all good. Alright, so we're heading over there right now. No time wasted. This is a teleporter. It's supposed to carry us to where we're supposed to go. I believe this is the planet where I'll be able to upgrade my suit for heat resistance. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what's going on. What That's what's going to happen. So I guess I need to head over to that other one there. I 
there's so much wildlife to scan i would literally just be walking through the missions if i didn't have to scan stuff all right let me see i'm pretty sure i've scanned this like five times already okay yeah i have <clears throat> you know apparently there's um hover boots in the game i can't wait to get to that point You see, this is what takes the most time. Another temple. It's locked up. There should be a bear here. I'm really out here just spoiling everything. There's a bear that... Yep, there it is. Okay, I got some ammo there. I need to head over to that and shoot that um module because as you know from the first mission that's what powers um switches and doors and all of that cool stuff in this game but i'm just trying to get up on here okay yeah what's going on I'm trying to get up here. All right, here we go. All right, so we're just gonna head back over to the temple now. Temple, temple run. Mm. We just head in here. Okay, so cool. We have a safe checkpoint there. Okay, so it needs. It looks like we need to shoot something to get the switch working. All right, there we go. So we just wait for this to come back. You know, I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb while recording this. So I hope no notifications come through. Alright, so there's the other teleporter. So this is going to... Oh, oh, shoot, shoot, yeah. So apparently this is acid. Well, I mean, y'all guys know that from the first mission. So I, you know, I have to be really careful. As to how I walk on these platforms. Okay, so... And you know, you always have to remember to break these open because there's always hella resources lying around that includes scans you know you really want to take advantage of the ability to scan whatever is available because the more you scan the more money you make the faster you can upgrade things one thing i need to upgrade is the fuel the arm um, the engine size is there another one that i'm supposed to shoot Right, so there we go could it be I'm seeing it but I'm still not believing it it's more fight it's encased in a hardened glass structure I'm getting it out of here there Mira do not break the glass <coughs> but what I want to know is why is it the um the cat AI the cat robot now calling me out too his name is Kit Kat too late. Is it a glitch? It's following you. Be careful, Mira. That was definitely worth it. Mr. Mason is not going to believe this. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I'm just really impatient. Alright, let's head this way. Whatever it is, it seems to be intelligently controlled. It seems to be made of pure energy. Black ball lightning. It was able to unlock the door for me. That's impressive. What is ball lightning? Anyway, never mind. There's another Norfite door in front of you. Hmm. Okay, there it is. I'm not even going to stop to try and scan that. Forget that. All 
Alright. I think I already have a scan of that, so I'm not even gonna try and kill him. I'm just trying to complete the mission at this point. Look at that big statue over there and the pedestal underneath. I wonder if the Morphi has anything to do with that. You won't listen to me, so I'm not gonna tell you not to go to ride that. Yeah. That's too interesting. It looks too interesting to avoid, honestly. This looks like some ancient thingy. Well, it just morphed into this spherical thing. Right in front of my eyes is an ion grenade. Collect it and select it on the bottom left toolbar to start using. You have limited grenades, so use them wisely. How did you know that? I'm smarter than you think. Feline offline. So, our first weapon upgrade ion grenades. <coughs> A limited amount. We only get like five. That's kind of stupid. Why would they only give you five? I think we should have at least 20 of them. We only get five. Seriously, only five. And I will never walk around with the ion grenades in my hand because I know I'm going to accidentally press the button and waste one. Or even two, and there's only five. So I always walk around with either the pistol, my plasma pistol, or my scanner. I'm not walking around with this because it's so easy to accidentally press the button. Okay, it's, it's getting a bit laggy here. Okay, my game is glitching. Just scan this real quick. I think these rocks are actually breakable with a pistol though. Yeah, as Kit Kat's telling me right now. Meow that too. Okay, and there's a lot of resources in here. always good to you know check around because the more mineral deposits you break the more likely you are to get resources the more likely you are to upgrade and or get ammo if your ammo is low you know stuff like that pretty sure I have a scan of that already okay so that's our conversion chamber and that's where we go to upgrade our suit and or um, other stuff like our ship and whatever no wait no hold on yeah this is just a suit <coughs> Look at that, look at how cool that looks. So we can choose to upgrade our visor, I don't even know what that is. I think that's something had to do with sight, hence the prefix vise. The armor, which is an actual suit, and which I'm gonna upgrade now, and the boots, but we don't have enough resources for that. So we're just gonna focus on getting heat resistance, which allows me to travel to planets with hot temperatures ranging from 400 to 1000 degrees. I'm gonna assume that Celsius and not Fahrenheit, Although I know in the US they use Fahrenheit for temperature. I'm not in the US, so we, we use Celsius. I'm from the Caribbean. Alright, so. Wait, no, hold on. Was this the pathway? I don't think it was. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. All right, let's go. Oh, mission complete. All right, that's the word. That's good. We're making great progress so far. Great progress. KitKat, we have company. They don't look friendly. Can't you get me out of there? Okay. Throw your beacon and I'll pick you up as soon as I retrieve the signal. Try to stay out of sight. Roger that. Okay, so I'm running all the way over here. And as I said earlier, the beacon is not a weapon. It's a device. It's a tracking device that allows KitKat to fly the ship over to you so if you're on if you land on a planet oh i just saw it ascend if you land on a planet and you've walked a good distance away from your ship 
You use the beacon to call the ship over and it should be descending any second. Yeah, there it is. I just realized that the clouds kind of look like spinning gears. Is that the door? Oh yeah, okay. I love the interior of this. This looks so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I didn't realize we had tea brewing right there. It, it literally, when I pointed at it, the label said coffee. That's that's a nice detail. Alright, so the mission should be done now. So I did the second mission, so I should be ending the video here. So that's it, guys. That was mission two: visiting planet Jorla and upgrading my suit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. Follow my socials in the description, my Instagram, my TikTok, and join my Discord server. The links are in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.